I was hanging out with my nephew the other day. I was teaching him some life lessons. And then right in the middle of my big speech, he goes, Uncle Joe, why are your teeth all yellow? I was like, I think it's because Santa Claus isn't real. That's probably the main. <laughs> and we both had a good cry. That felt good. <laughs> it's traumatic being a con I'm still a tra 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 traumatized from now. I'm traumatized right now. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm still traumatized when I was a child. When I was seven years old, this is a true story, I had my tonsils taken out, and when I woke up from my tonsil surgery, I was missing my two front teeth. <laughs> they just took my teeth. I had them before, <laughs> didn't have them after. Nobody told me, nobody asked me, I didn't sign anything. <laughs> they just took my teeth. The doctors were like, they were a little loose, they were gonna come out anyways, so we just took them out for you. And I was like, I've never heard of that policy in my entire <laughs> life. Why don't you take my heart? That's gonna go bad at some point. Just pull that right out of there. I don't buy it. I feel like they were bored at the end of their shift, and they're like, how funny it would be if we took this kid's teeth out of his head right now. And the other doctor's like, what are you, crazy? It's tonsil surgery. He's like, who cares? He's seven. He's a little bitch. Take his teeth. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I twisted you. I was, I was crying and spitting, and I told my mother, I was like, they took my teeth. And she was like, well, you're gonna get a visit from the tooth fairy. And I was like, how about a visit from a lawyer? How about that? <laughs> they took my adenoids as well. I don't even know what an adenoid is, and I never will, because they were stolen from me when I was seven years old. <laughs> they ransacked my entire face. <laughs> then years later, a few years ago, I had to have appendix surgery, I had appendicitis. So I went, and uh, they knocked you out for that. First of all, there's a test to find out if you have appendicitis. It'll hurt in your upper vagina area. <laughs> There's a t that could be anything. What you do is you push in, it'll hurt, and then when you release, it hurts twice as much. <laughs> Everybody laughs, it's a real thing, you can Google it. It's called rebound tenderness. You can check it out. So I did it, and I had it. So I went to the hospital, and I told the nurse, it was a guy, I said, sir, I have appendicitis, I did the finger push test. <laughs> and then he pushed in on my appendix, and I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I'm testing you for appendicitis. <laughs> and I was like, you should test your hearing, because <laughs> I just told you I administered this test already. I have it. You don't need special male nurse fingers for this. And then he let go and I was like, ow! And he was like, that's appendicitis. And I was like, that's what I told you one moment ago, sir. And he was like, you need surgery. And I was like, that's what I'm doing here at the surgery store. That's why I moseyed on down to the surgery establishment. And then I waited for the surgeon to come out. She was a woman, she was really nice at first. She was like, do you have any questions about the surgery? And I was like, as a matter of fact, I do. Will you be removing any of my teeth during the surgery? And then she said, why would we remove your teeth? And I was like, yeah, why would you remove my teeth? That's what I'm asking you, lady. And then she said, no, we're not gonna remove your teeth. And then, this bitch, she pushed in <laughs> on my appendix. I was like, you're gonna hold that in until I'm unconscious? And she was like, no. And then she was like, ow! And she was like, that's appendicitis. And I was like, I'm on the operating table. I don't know why. You could have saved me four hours by taking my word for it. Then they knocked me out. I woke up from the surgery. Of course, I checked for all my teeth. I wanted to make sure I don't trust them. I had all my teeth, successful surgery. Then. I went to the bathroom to urinate and discovered that they shaved my pubic hair. <laughs> they just always take a little extra. I was like, is this a hospital or a frat house? I checked in the mirror to make sure they didn't draw any dicks on my face. It didn't even occur to me when they're like, do you have any questions about the surgery? Like, what about my pubic hair? Will you be shaving my pubic hair? I think that's how I took my teeth when I was seven. I had no pubic hair to offer them at that point. <laughs> like, this kid's clean as a whistle. He must have shaved before he got here. Take his teeth as a penalty. <laughs> at least with teeth, there's a tooth fairy. You get a few bucks, but there's no pubic hair fairy that I'm aware of. I gotta go. You guys are great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.